e-bikes have become more popular. Doctors have seen more injuries, even deaths. A 2019 study shows that for older people in particular, there's been a dramatic rise in the number of injuries related to electronic bikes. KZRG TV9's Molly Swain joins us live from downtown Cedar Rapids with a closer look at this trend. Molly? Cedar Rapids launched its bike share program in 2019. Now e-bikes like this one are available to rent throughout the city in summer months. Increasingly, this trend also includes people who own these kinds of bikes. I did speak to a couple earlier who said they made the shift in order to keep up. We like the regular bikes, but the e-bike just gave us a little more assist on the hills. Nancy and Mark McCachran made the switch from regular bikes to e-bikes about two years ago. We just weren't going as often, you know, before, and so now we go quite often. The e-bikes made it possible to continue with the hobby they loved, and they're not alone. For the past five years, it's been the fastest growing market um, for uh, bicycles. It just allows um, people who haven't been able to ride bikes in the past or couldn't ride with family members or friends go on those rides and enjoy the trails that we have here in town. According to a 2019 study from the New York School of Medicine, from 2000 to 2017, there were about 3,000 e-bike injuries reported compared to more than 9 million pedal bicycle injuries. However, according to the study, the age of those getting hurt on e-bikes skewed older. People 45 to 65 accounted for almost three in every 10 e-bike injuries. I think he's worried that I should get something a little less challenging physically. <laughs> that I might be better off. Joe Renus said his son thought an e-bike would be safer than the pedal bicycle Renus rides now. But according to that same research, e-bike related injuries were three times as likely to be severe enough to require a visit to the hospital than those from an e-scooter. The, the speed bikes that we sell assist up to 28 miles per hour. You're pedaling down the road or trail and you can get up to 28 miles per hour. That's pretty quick for most people on bikes. We don't 10, go too fast, maybe 20, 20 miles an hour at the most. The research says, quote, e-bikes appear relatively riskier to riders than pedal bicycles. However, the McCachrans are confident in their skills and grateful they get to continue taking the rides they love. Now we're not afraid to ride 20 miles where before that's a long ways. So. <laughs> The National Transportation Safety Board says accidents and injuries are up since that research was done. They're calling on the government to do more to keep track of data. In Cedar Rapids, Molly Swain, KCRG TV9 News.